Hey you guys, we're gonna be doing some plyometrics for beginners today. Okay, you guys, so doing plyometrics for beginners, we really wanna think about conditioning and strengthening our feet initially because those really explosive movements take a lot of body conditioning. So we don't wanna to get too, too impactful when we first start out. So we're gonna kind of do everything just at a nice pace, not too explosive, just for, like I mentioned, we're really gonna think about building strength in our feet and in our legs. We're gonna start out with jump rope, which is a great way to strengthen your, your feet. So with jump rope, you can just do some nice, easy jumps. And with this workout, you can do maybe anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. And it's okay if you miss. We're gonna be doing a lot of that if you're just starting out. So think about staying on the balls of your feet and just a nice, easy pace. So jump rope's great for that. It's, it's wonderful for cardiovascular too. So jump roping. And if you're having a lot of trouble, I also do what's called an invisible jump rope with a lot of my clients. Well, you just kind of have an invisible jump rope, but you're still getting that same motion and movement and strengthening in your feet. Okay, next we're gonna move on to ice skaters. And you can either use any kind of marker or not. I, I like to use a little bit of a marker. You can really put anything down on the ground. This is a lateral movement, which is really great for everybody because life is not here. A lot of it's here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do nice little hops off to the side. You can put a foot down to stabilize more if you need to. And the stronger your legs get, you can get a little bit more explosive. And also think about bending down a little bit because that'll really help work your legs here too. Strengthening your legs, strengthening our feet is the goal for our beginners. Okay, so once again, you can do 15 to 30 seconds of work 30 seconds of rest, because it is gonna get your heart rate going. Okay, next we're gonna go into what I call frog hops. Now for beginners, I'm not gonna have you hold any weight. Eventually when you get stronger, you can hold a medicine ball or any kind of, mag even magazines at home. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start low. We're gonna start working on building strength through a fuller range of motion with these. You're just going to jump up high as you can, but really sitting back through your heels and using your glutes to explosively jump up. Because that's what plyometrics is all about, building cardiovascular strength, endurance. So going back, you'll just see I'm trying to hop up and go as low as I can. Super good, my heart rate's up a little bit. I'm working my legs, strengthening here. Once again, 15 to 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest if you need that much rest. Now our last exercise, marker jumps, or once again, whatever you have at home, you can put on the ground. We're gonna keep it low so we don't have to jump too, too high. We're just gonna be doing some two feet jumps so just a nice jump. And it doesn't even have to be fast. Eventually you can get faster. See, once again, I'm staying on the tops of my, to the tops of my toes for this. So if you wanna eventually get faster, that's great. It's not about the speed initially. If you have to be here and stabilize, that's okay. Super great for your heart rate, great for balance, especially as we get older, our balance starts to get a little, kind of not as good as it used to be. So these are great for that. Now we can go lateral too. So we're just hopping 
laterally. We are hopping laterally over. And think about using your arms. Your arms help your body go up in the air. So we're going slow and controlled. Eventually, if you want to get going a little faster, you can do that, but this is beginning. So we're just controlling our movements. Whew. Even just that little bit, I'm really feeling it. So these are four really great plyometric exercises for beginners. Do as much work as you can. If you can push it to 30 seconds, take that 30 seconds rest and then go right into your next exercise. You're gonna get a great workout. You're gonna build the endurance and start feeling a lot more strength through your legs and your body. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. I always enjoy working out with you. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave me comments. Let me know if this is the first time you've ever tried plyometrics. They're super great. I love them. They're always in my workout. I hope you enjoy them too. Hey, and check out athletexxforwomen.com for other beginning workouts that might be helpful to you. And I'll work out with you soon.